Yesterday I wrote the first draft of uh, the letter to Isabel, my daughter, uh, which is to be the first part of my book, speaking directly to her in that chapter for when she receives the book, uh, about why the book is actually going to be gifted to her. And as I was writing it, I was thinking about the language uh, Anne uses throughout the books to address others, often, uh, but not exclusively, um, addressing children. This is the language of affection, of course, entirely embodied by Anne's beautiful personality. We might remember she does say to Mr. Harrison in Anne of Avonlea about what kind of teacher she was planning to be. I shall govern by affection. With my daughter, I have been on a conscious mission to incorporate this type of language in how I speak to her. It is fascinating to me how much love I have for her and yet how much of that love remains unexpressed. What is this? What is this uh, stamping block for me? Some mysterious emotional barrier preventing me from speaking so? Anne would certainly not think that expressing emotions is inaccessible to men. She has the belief in the good and manly, the exact phrase she uses in her conversation with Davy in Anne of the Island. And the entire arc of her relationship with Gilbert over the first three books tells us that she is willing to improve herself and learn from men as much as from women. Over the last few months, then, I've been practicing the art of addressing Isabel with affectionate words. Uh, for no apparent reason, uh, just, just because I felt like it. Uh, just because the moment was right, or just because, just, just because I love her. Uh, so adding uh, words like sweetheart, um, love, darling, dear, to, uh, to, the, to the end of the sentences. Um, and there is freedom to it, uh, like I liberated myself from, from some, some chains that I might not have known, previously known, that even existed. A sigh of relief, a heavy weight, which is somehow ethereal, is lifted off my chest and I genuinely feel pretty nearly perfectly happy. Like Anne says in what might be the most unashamedly beautiful chapter of all the books, Anne of Avonlea chapter 13, A Golden Picnic, we are going to have nothing but beautiful thoughts. Not just thoughts too, I'm going to express them. It feels good too. I suspect Isabel appreciates it, not having to guess how I feel. And myself? Just overwhelmed by the positive emotions rushing in and uh, living by Anne's example.